Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We're playing the Four Men. Uh, no, we're actually not doing that. <laughs> we're playing Legacy uh, Operations, the wonderful DLC. It's the last mission of the third run uh, where Lily Shen uh, and her team are trying to get uh, Power Core. My name is Saiken and we are flawlessing this mission, hopefully. To not only do the, uh, get the 260,000 uh, points that will require for a uh, big fat gold, uh, but to get even more. The pride of saying that you have flawless all of the missions. Right there, first avatar. I like it. And we got the homing mines. Attach a claymore to an enemy. <clears throat> Does not alert the enemy. Homing mine will explode upon that enemy taking damage. And I think we're going to take the avatar for that. One of the Reaper's many marks. Floop. There we go. Now. We want out. just out of curiosity, wouldn't even be a too bad of a chance to uh, to hit this guy. Where is our sniper over here? So we could go for a kill zone and actually try to engage them this turn already. What a crazy move. Yeah, Lily could try to somewhat get into a position where she could uh, use the capacitator discharge. Not sure if she has enough movement, to be honest. Yeah, just a little bit too short. One of the things we might want to do is to actually use the rocket launcher. This here gets rid of the tree, it explodes it, shreds everyone, take a couple of overwatch shots and the homing uh, missile is going to explode on top of it. Kill zone works like a charm. Oh, it actually does. I was about to make fun of it. So this would kill one of them and disable the other one. Problem is he's, uh, this um, avatar is still alive. That's indeed a bit of an issue. Let's see if we can kill 
the Andromedon. Very good. The shell doesn't really matter at the moment because it cannot reach us. There's no way up for it. Moving over here. We could even uh, shut it down if we so desire. Capacitator discharge will kill one, disable the other. thinking just to kill both of these guys here the avatar will just mind control and the shell can't do anything so might as well save one of the mimic beacons Moving there. I guess it very much depends on our ability to kill the code, uh, codices. Uh, should have probably grappled over here for the high ground advantage, but that's fine. Let's see if we can kill these guys. Yep, there's one down. to take the 85% chance. There we go. Just the Avatar and the Andromedon left over. Probably shouldn't have used the kill zone. Could have done much more with not doing it. There's the obligatory mind control. Not that we are very much surprised about that. And the shell will really just move. Yeah, good job, shell. A Delta class transport well vessel. What the old vets used to call a UFO. For a time, we thought this was the worst the aliens would throw at us. We were wrong. So that's one option, and the other option actually is... Solid 85% uh, hit with Slash. I like it. Saves the grenade, gets him out of full cover. Let's him burn. Seventeen. I don't know, I think we're going to be fine, to be honest. <laughs> Even executed, okay. Super simple. 
Yeah, we had so many actions left over, so I don't mind. That was not an issue at all. There we go. It's one shot. Reload and a very solid hit. Good job. Okay, killed the first pack right away. Let's scout to not uh, needlessly pull another one. I go where I am needed. By the way, this here is a perfect uh, homage at one of uh, at one of the most typical. Uh, XCOM 1 uh, maps where the UFOs just like landed and you had this huge huge crater where they um, where they hit the road Buddy, we want to go into this direction. All right, sniper still takes the high ground. <laughs> oh, lucky us! Look at that. The only thing. Uh, left standing off this roof is the one square where the sniper is standing on. Too bad. I'd love to get my hands on a plasma cannon or two today. Keep up, Rover. I go as ordered. Moving out. All right, moving out. Apparently still no enemy contact, which I find highly suspicious, by the way. On the move. Moving into the first line of defense right there. I'm pretty sure soon we're going to find enemies. Imagine a freight train that can move virtually undetected in the sky. I need to go AFK 20 seconds. The ability to move material and troops during the war was overwhelming. These ships are a big reason why. All right, let's go. We are looking to get into the UFO. 
I was just saying I'm very surprised that we haven't found any enemies so far. Like it's very unlikely that we're going to see an enemy over there. I will go. It's most likely that someone's being in here. We're near the objective. As far as I could tell, the power stabilizer was still in good condition. Strange. Very strange. Where is everyone? On my way. So getting into full cover. Everyone took a full cover position. Lily here also has a full cover position. She actually can overwatch even by double moving, which means we'll put her over here. Let's do this. Got it covered. Non evade detection. I'll keep an eye on it. Affirmative. Covering now. All Interesting. Interesting. Not that this is all a bad thing. Our own Avenger is based off this design. I'll bet she'd be invisible if we could ever get her in the sky. We need that power stabilizer. Very, very nice uh, cover here. Yes, Commander. Beautiful. You can you can advance in full cover with everyone. That's rare. Just want to make sure, like. What the heck is going on? Is you this here some down. sort of trick? Got it covered. Joy on observation. Come get some. Overwatch. I await their approach. Might as well use scanning protocol because I, I just am baffled. Where all the of the enemies are supposed to be. Dream, but it's getting ever closer to a reality. She may not look the way Dad initially envisioned, but she'll fly. I guarantee it. Doing a nice little scanning protocol. Okay, so there's a gatekeeper plus two chrysalids over there. Sectopod, two mutants, and Spectre over there. That's it. So just in case uh, these guys decide to come over. Rolling. Moving everyone in a somewhat safe location. Roger that. Moving to Overwatch. I will watch. Let's get over here. As ordered. Open the door. And get a better view on these guys. I found their patrol. Yeah, our sniper has absolutely no line of sight here. She party. Might as well move over here. It's somewhat a line of sight. But honestly, I, I really don't want to overwatch with a sniper. On overwatch. Because he will just trigger them. If 
Dad could see me now, leading a field team, charging through the heart of an alien ship to salvage their tech. Not sure he'd approve, but I think he'd understand. Okay, we are catching a homing mine right there. This here is not yet triggering line of sight. Stepping off. How much squad side? Oh wow, 50% uh, range penalty. I think we're better off by simply moving closer. Although, if we're moving closer, we don't have the death from above um, option, which we would have right now. On the other hand, the avatar could teleport like here, which would cause a lot of problems. We could use serial though, which is as good as death from above. It's actually better because you can use it without height uh, bonus. Okay. Carefully moving everyone into position. likely not going to move. Yep, they aren't. Which means if we were to blow them to smithereens with a well-placed grenade, That would trigger the homing mine. On my way. This here is as close as it gets without triggering them. And the incendiary bomb will sh uh, also shred the um, the uh, sector pod. It will just not set it aflame. However, it will ignite everyone else, and that's pretty good. Also, it has a larger explosion radius, so might as well use it. Here we go. I'm only seeing flames. It has a certain style uh, style effect. Right. So, as I was saying, Lily, by the way, will probably just use an EMP bomb uh, on the sector pod. Okay. 
You know what? Let's deal with the sectopod first. Ready to fight. Reload. Eight protocol would deal eleven to uh, ten to eleven. The MP bomb would uh, deal only ten, but has a chance to actually stun the sectopod. So might as well use it. Sixteen. Sixteen. Hmm. I like the idea of um, going all out on the chosen one, uh, on the avatar, the chosen one. A couple of potential crits. We hit it pretty well. And this here could be a kill. Barely out of range. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Moving out. Rapid fire. Let's get this thing down. Shot at least hit. That's a good one. We're going lo uh, to look for cereal. This here is going to kill the sector pot. Sweet, sweet little points. That's a solid chance of actually killing it. La cible est toujours debout. It's dodging. Unlucky. Anyways. Another melee hit and it's down. So that's one more pack left over. That's affirmative. Might as well conceal us oh, yeah. for the extra bonus damage and to hit that we're getting. Same here. Let's conceal us and see where the last pack is at. So we might want to wait until our cooldowns are back up, rapid shot, well actually we don't need to. Serial is a nice cooldown, which we could use, but it's not essential. I 
going now. No trespassers. I will reposition. So we're moving back again. I'm mainly interested where the last pack is located at the moment. Might as well use the scanning protocol. Yeah, it's barely... What, 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 what? Wait a second. There's another pack. Another sector pod with, I think, another... Um, Avatar. If I have just seen correctly, we're looking at yet another. I go where you tell me. Um, yet another sector pod. They have a patrol moving here. That's that was the pack that I was thinking we would uh, find. I am on the move. But apparently, there is yet another pack. Just on this side of the map. Confirm. Which basically means we might want to get into a position where we can also hit these guys. I guess once we scan the object, all of the enemies will come to us. I love that. If we could pull this one off, it, it'll be great. No. The disorientation is also nice, but the uh, improved aim and crit chance, that's really good. Are scanned. All we had to do now was fight our way out. Yeah, where is a good position? Hmm. Alright, let's see if anything moves. So far, quite literally nothing has changed. My life is in your hands. Moving over here. Yeah, there's no one in range at the moment. Understood. Moving out. Moving here. As you order. Watching comes naturally. Scanning. So the ranger is still hidden. I'm all over. He'll probably not have an overwatch ready. We could wreck ourselves up here, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could try to do it and then move up to here. Will be a bit, a bit uh, challenging with the line of sight issues. The UFOs usually are not the best places to, to start grappling up to. Alright, just overwatch. I'm wondering that we're not finding any of uh, the enemies. They seem to not move at all. Moving 
well. So the sector port is no longer here and it hasn't moved down here, which means we're looking at a se sector port somewhere around the other side. Those guys here are super stable. The ghost here signals that there is this ghost here signals that there is an avatar. Avatar stands, I think, in the middle of of this um, gatekeeper. Yeah, here, just in the middle. He he seems to spawn in the middle of the gatekeeper. Avatar, gatekeeper, and the chrysalid. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I saw a sector port. And one way of finding it out is actually using our good old uh, scanner, battle scanner. Last round, if no one uh, moves into our direction, I'll take initiative. Okay. One way of dealing with these guys is surprising them by actually standing in front of them. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. move our guys into here and here then open the doors and say hello covering distance solid copy allez on bouge fast as i can That. I'm on the watch. They attempt to fight. That, by the way, is stupid retarded bullshit. They haven't moved for God knows how long. And then all of a sudden they decide, well, now it's time to move in. Serves him right that uh, Lily begins to just take a couple of extra shots at, at the avatar. Okay, well, here we go. Yet again. And Grandmaster Gatekeeper here just casually strolled by, says hello. Basically moved through the walls of the UFO. That's how you do it.
All right, moving into cover. Going to <clears throat> very much shred all of these guys. Oh, come on. There we go. Solid little shredding going on. Kicking in with some cereal. 100% shots cannot be dodged. So that resulted in a free action. We're of course going to reload. Moving a bit further away because the sniper gets penalties the closer you stand next to the enemy. Another kill. So this is our Mimic Beacon, which we definitely... Oh, we have another one. Never mind. But we would want to shred this guy. There we go. A little bit extra damage. Moving in, and I would want to try to almost kill it now with rapid fire. Let's hope for two uh, two hits. Nice one. Come on, one more. Ooh, very nice. Which allows us for. A kill with a sniper. Collecting these points. Very nice. I think we're going to go with the combat protocol here, to be honest. Because Lily will have 100% hit. Reloading. And then combat protocol. Hmm. Is there a way for us to get this guy? Probably not from the current position, but I think we don't need the Mimic Beacon. We can just mind control. And I much rather will finish him. Well, that was a mistake, my friend, because you just positioned yourself very well for the sniper. We got the stabilizer and made it home in one piece. Dad, we're getting the Avenger off the ground soon. I promise. Well, that was a flawless mission, guys. I'm liking it. So this time 320,000, um, that is about 20% more than uh, what would have been needed. I think pre well, it's pretty pretty decent and the helmets as a cosmetic uh, upgrade 
This here is great. Finally some more helmets in the standard game. I'm usually not running many uh, visual modifications, it's, it's just neat to unlock them. Three soldiers wounded and all of them were in the first mission. Afterwards we just flawless every single one. Yeah, that was fun guys. Which means we only have one more run to go. The last legacy run. And then the, uh, the about 10 hours of gameplay from the legacy missions are all over. Last thing is called the Lazarus Project, and we're only going in with three at the beginning. Maybe it's even um, maybe it's even a whole run with only three. That would be interesting. Well, it says rescue Lily Shen from Ad from an advent cell, so I think Lily will be the fourth one then, helping these um, these friendly beings. And we're looking at two hundred fifty thousand for gold, but that. My dearest friends, is going to happen the next time um, when we are attempting the fourth mission. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you've seen, give it a thumbs up and please comment down below. Thank you.